Hey everyone, it's me, Angry T-Rex, and whoa, boy! I know that this news is late, uh, you know, it's been out for about two days, but oh my goodness, we did it! Woo! The Amber Collection is done. It's dead. Matthew Brando, thank you so much. You are a freaking legend! And now, since that line is dead, Mattel is now going to be making the Jurassic World Hammond Collection. And my goodness, I freaking love this line! Basically, these are for the older fans. Um, and uh, I freaking love them. Anyways, let's get right into it. So in this photo right here, we see this beautiful photo that shows Ian Malcolm with a 3 3 quarter inch scale fully pulsable velociraptor. Ah! Yes! I'm so freaking happy! And a uh, 3 3 quarter inch scale pulsable parasol office, which I've always wanted. Ah! And then you get a Fallen Kingdom Baryonyx, which looks so freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness, there's so much I want to say. Um, let's talk about Ian Malcolm first. Now, with Ian Malcolm, with the human figures, uh, basically they are uh, scaled down versions of the six inch scale human figures. And I am so glad that with this Ian Malcolm, he does apparently actually have a... Uh, ankle and wrist articulation finally they put that in their three three uh their three inch scale figures you know uh star wars did for their basic line before the dark times before the six inch line um and i'm so glad that they're doing it now for uh for the three and three quarter inch scale line although this will be separate from the legacy line and the dominion line but anyways might i digress <laughs> Um, Ian Malcolm looks phenomenal. He has his leather jacket on. Uh, really, he looks like such great quality of a figure. Though, again, I'm going to have to wait to see him in hand. Um, so, yeah. Including he even has knee pads, which apparently are actually really good uh, for displaying your figure on being on their knee. Um, apparently, the 6-inch scale figures have that, though I don't own any 6-inch human figures. I do own the, the Dress Park 1 Raptor because I, I just couldn't resist, all right? I look too cool. Um, so, yeah, and I do have the Delta, though. The Between the Delta and the JP1 Raptor, I like the JP1 Raptor more. Uh, but, yeah, um, but apparently Ian Malcolm's flare is the 6-inch scale one, which is, I don't understand why they did that. So, I do hope that they do fix that issue. And I do hope that he does come with a, a glass of water to do the butterfly f effect with Ellie Sattler. Um, yeah, he looks phenomenal. He really looks amazing. Um, just really does look great. Uh, the next figure I want to talk about is the Velociraptor. Oh my god. Now, there's only one complaint I have. Uh, it is the fact that its head sculpting is the Jurassic World head. It's not the... Uh, um, in-gen version, aka the 1993 Raptor, and that really disappoints me. Um, then again, I'm still going to get this. I'm going to get two, because in Jurassic Park, there's only two shown on screen. I know that there is three, but still. Uh, but yeah, uh, apparently the Velociraptor actually has three points of articulation in its legs, two points of articulation in its arms, neck articulation, head articulation, top and bottom jaw articulation, and a wire inside of its tail. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And the thing is, is its price is so perfect. It is going to be $13. And that is such a great deal for a three inch scale of Velociraptor. I definitely want to get this. I'm for sure going to get it for sure. Uh, the next figure we're going to be talking about is the Parasol Office. Yes! Uh, I've always wanted a Parasol Office uh, figure like this. Um, always wanted to because with the Parasol Office is that uh, you always see it walking on all fours, but then you see it on both of its hind legs. Um, and so I thought for an idea is that why can't they just make a fully posable articulated Parasol Office figure? And now they finally do. It looks so freaking beautiful. Looks absolutely adorable. 
in this photo, you see the Velociraptor pouncing on the uh, Parasaur, which kind of makes me want to get more than just two Raptors. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks so great. It even has jaw articulation. Uh, a hedgehog's jaw, that's so amazing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, if I'd say the only complaint with it is the fact that there's no articulations on its upper feet. And uh, the tail does seem to be a little bit too short. But besides that, I still love it. I still think it's phenomenal. Um, I'm definitely going to get it for sure. Kind of want three, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the next figure is going to be the Baryonyx. Yes. And, oh my god. This makes me love the Baryonyx so much more. Ah! It looks so beautiful! Oh my goodness! Like, ah, it, I just, oh, the fight, like, it looks so great. Alright, Mattel, thank you so much for this. Um, the Baryonyx has a 17 points of articulation. Uh, really looks so great in scale next to Ian Malcolm. Uh, and the paint job looks so freaking beautiful. Looks absolutely lovely. And just, uh, I, words cannot describe how happy and how much I love these figures so much. Uh, I do hope to see more dinosaurs, more humans. Would love to see, you know, a vehicle. Uh, so, yeah. And, um, apparently, uh, well, on Instagram, my personal Instagram, which I won't share at all, uh, I saw a leaked information that there's apparently going to be an adult um, Hannah Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, now, uh, it did not show the product of the final, uh, it did not show the product at all, uh, but it did show information about it. Apparently, it's going to be $69.99. Um, so, yeah. Um, then again, um, I did comment that in like a live stream. And uh, someone responded saying, no, it's actually going to be $49.99. Though I think it's $70. And I do hope that it's rubber T-Rex with electronics inside. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, this has definitely made me so happy. So, so, so happy. Um, so, yeah. I'll, and also, I want to say this. Um, on my Instagram, I follow a certain dress park user. And he posted on his story saying... Uh, will anyone miss the Jurassic World Amber Collection? And apparently, like, 59% out of the poll said yes, and 41% uh, no. And to those people that, that uh, miss it, I have this to say. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. I really just hate the Amber Collection a lot. Uh, it was so dumb. And honestly, I do think that it did ruin the three and three quarter inch scale because I've seen some leaked images of the Dominion toys and oh boy, I hate them. Especially the new stupid retarded dino uh, DNA scanning code. Um, so yeah, but I will talk about the final products when they release. Uh, heck, I'll, heck, I'll do a live stream of that. Why not? Yeah, it's been a while since I actually did a, a live stream. Uh, so, um, yeah, but anyways, I'm so happy. This is so amazing. Um, so yeah, Mattel, thank you so much. Uh, I am now happily to, I am so happy to now say that you guys are now doing great products. This is such a great move for you guys to do to cancel the six cents line and to make this not only for adult collectors but for the kids as well because kids would love these but anyways that's the end of the video hope you all uh enjoy and as always guys stay angry